And we have something interesting to tell you. So I, I wasn't here for most of what went on here, but the chapter uh, of Will and Jada Pinkett Smith relationship drama, which Jada continued last evening on Stephen Colbert. So take a look. I didn't go to the Oscars necessarily as Will's wife, but when the event occurred, I knew in that moment that I wasn't gonna leave his side. And I knew in that moment that I didn't go to that theater as his wife, but I was leaving as his wife. And I was gonna stand by his side no matter what. And that's when I knew. I was like, I love this man. So there are all kinds of opinions coming from everywhere. Uh, ESPN Stephen A. Smith weighed in the other day. Here's another clip. You want to mess with some dude that's your son's friend, as trifling as that may seem in people's eyes, that's your damn business. You want to break up with your husband and all of this stuff, that's your business. But this public emasculation needs to stop. Jada, all you're doing is elevating the level of vitriol coming your way. Because it don't matter what you say. There's nothing, there's nothing you can say to a man to justify what you have done to Will Smith. So apparently people are upset. What exactly has she done to him? I, I don't know. She think, He <laughs> feels that she has emasculated him You're by... Right. Well, she had an affair with their son's friend. Well, she friend. said she didn't have an affair. An it was an entanglement, I'm sorry. And then she so also... Wait, so she didn't sleep with the boy or not? No, she, she, she had an entanglement. She did, but it, it was... It, she right. defines it as an entanglement. And um, she also, you know, has now said that they've been separated for six years, but then she took him on the Red Table Talk after the entanglement, and he cried during it. He cried? Yeah. What and, made him cry? I think just the situation. Here's yes. my thing. I actually love celebrity gossip. You guys know it. But this couple, everything I know about them is, like, against my will. There is a line in a marriage. Like, we all share about our personal lives. But I would never say something that humiliates, demeans, or shames my husband. Yeah. I will make fun of him here and there. And what I think has been hard to watch is... Okay, I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt. I think that she's probably someone who processes things by talking them out. Mm, and then she's mm. chosen to do it in the public eye, unfortunately. But what she's missing is taking care of her partner and the father of her children, yeah. who you see the pain in his face on these interviews. I'm a huge fan of his, but this is a So why does he seems... put up with it? I, I think he I loves her. I think it's her. a very unhealthy he loves dynamic. Her. Yeah. What, yeah. What, what, what is it, though? I, I read his be... book, and he says in the book that... They approached marriage very differently. She had um, experience in her family open marriages, whereas in his family, he saw it as a much more traditional, uh, in a much more traditional way. But he loved her so much that he was willing but to But you can love somebody a lot for and her. Not, you can love somebody a lot and not allow them to emasculate you. You yeah. have to stand I up for yourself. I don't know what's because she also says she's keeping a promise of never getting a divorce, but she doesn't call him a husband. They don't live together. They sleep with different people. Their kids are hurting, but they're going to call it a not broken promise when you broke every promise along the way. So I don't know what it is. It's like they're hanging mm -hmm. on to the title of marriage, but rather than the actual actions and work that goes into marriage. And Whoopi says this all the time, is like marriage isn't for everyone. Jada actually said that she had to be dragged down the she aisle did. when they got that married. That should have been the first red flag. And that should have been the red flag. Because she did. Because they could safely be co-parents and best friends for years oh. going forward, but I don't understand, like, staying in something that's clearly appears very unhealthy for So who's going to take him back first, Jada or the Oscars? <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, well, in some way, this is sort of... I almost feel like it rehabilitates him in, in, he look, in he, because some he way. Looks I think he's so... Well, he, he looks, looks hurt. hurt. Uh, and, and I got to piggyback <gasps> on what Alyssa was saying. Like, you know, I understand being a public person, and we do have to share a lot of things here. That's just our job. But there are things that my family members have asked me not to share. And, then I, and then I respect that. And, and you, you've oh, said yeah. that. My daughter also. told me I mean, when I got the job, don't talk about me. Yeah, my, my daughter said the same thing. Please, yeah. please don't talk so about me. Oh, God, I so hope I, no one ever says that. I'll I, have nothing. I don't, <laughs> I don't say much. I feel like Max is probably so that. But my mom said it, little, honestly. I think you're I feel a little, little lied to, to and bamboozled a little bit. Part of it is that, too, is that Red Table talk 
talk, which I actually really enjoyed the program for a Great long time. Program. But it's it built, was Emmy winning. It yeah. was real talk. It's built around being real talk yeah. and authentic. Yet we didn't find out till six years later that actually they haven't been. They've been separated this whole time. When the slap happened, when and the, the entanglement, entanglement happened, they weren't even together. So it sort of feels like. It feels like a bit of a fraud that it's that's being Why is Stephen on. Smith so invested in this? I, that one I don't know. Loves, well, I like him. I used to have my other show. He, yeah. There's so many Smiths involved here. Well, I, <laughs> the, the one other thing I will say too is like we can never make light of the Oscar slap, which we all called out on this show. And I didn't love that yeah. she's like, I knew he was my husband once he physically assaulted someone. That, yes, that should be the that biggest part. red what flag. What did she say again? She was. She basically said, I knew he was my husband after after he the slap because, because he defended I, her. I left as his wife. Well, because he defended her, that's what she means. She, he defended her, and so she felt proud of his the but marriage the at that whole, moment. The whole book was then supposed she to be an explainer, I think, and, and make her look better. But I actually think it's helped Will more because his own kids yeah. are coming out and saying it's hurting their feelings that, that this is all playing out publicly. <coughs> like, it's just, it, there are consequences. But they, but they are pu a, a public You know, this guy played family. Muhammad Ali. Come on, get in the, get in the ring. <laughs> With her, if you know, why would he? No, sit there no, and don't just do that. No, he won't. Well, verbally, I think he loves yeah, I know, I know. Verbally, <laughs> don't slap him. Don't slap anybody again. No That's more. out. Yes. No, no slapping. But I mean, he sits there and takes it. That's what not. If, what if it's he really loves her? You know, you're confusing love with masochism. Maybe. Yeah.